What's up guys, it's your boy KBDX Tokyo back again with another episode and it's a lovely day outside and I thought now would be the perfect time to show you guys what it's like to Pokemon hunt in the Bronx, Bronx, New York if you guys didn't know. So behind me, I have a target. Across the street from this target, we have the projects. If you guys don't know about the projects, this is what it looks like in the Bronx. A uh, couple stone buildings and yeah so this is basically what it looks like we definitely in the projects but i'm gonna go see what it's looking like in the target see what they got and then i'm gonna go to like two other targets just to show you guys what it's like in the bronx and i'll show you some scenery along the way but without further ado let's just go straight into this target and see what they got all right guys so this is the first target um these boxes are new they never used to lock these things up and i guess now they're they're locking stuff up but yeah this is this is what we got at this target this is the first target um this target's by riverdale if you guys know where that's at um if you don't then it is what it is you got so many tens here I think we're gonna grab one of these at this target and then we're gonna see what's at the next targets, but let's go see what they got in the back. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Do I look like I work at fucking Target? Because I have like six people woke up to me just like, do you work here? Like, no, I don't work here. I'm just looking at some Legos, man. Just looking at some Legos. That's all I wanna do. All right, guys, so we're in the collectible aisle and obviously there's nothing behind me. We don't got much here. Just a couple old pops just standing there but we're gonna grab this and make our way to the next one and see what they got all right guys so listen we just left the first target and now we're gonna go to the second target uh which is at 161 yankee stadium and this is all we got here so yeah i'm gonna show you guys a little a little scenery on the way over there All right, guys, we just made it to the second target just now. This is the target by 161 Yankee Stadium. If you guys can see behind me right there. So we're gonna go check what they got in here, see if they got anything good. All right, guys, I don't know. This is a little weird. Usually they would have all the products here in the front, um, but we're gonna have to check if they're in the back because obviously they ain't nothing up here. So let's go check the back. All right, guys, so we're in the back by the collectibles. Um, they got some cool pops here. I'm not much of a pop collector. I just strictly collect cards. Um, but yeah, they got some cool pops here. Bad thing is, I don't know where the cards are. If they even have a card section anymore, I'm gonna have to ask around. But this is this is the second, this is the second target. So it is what it is. All right, guys. So listen, I finally found the card section. Um, this is it right here. We just got a little a little cabinet full of some ETBs, some single packs, and uh, yeah, that's basic, basically basically it. Um, usually they would have way more than this, but I don't know, I guess people were stealing stuff, so they decided to lock everything up now. But yeah, this is all they got. Let's move on to the next target and see what they have. All right, guys, so we didn't have much luck at that target. We had to search around for the cards because they was moving things around. Um, usually they would have it by the front, but I guess people were stealing stuff. So they had to lock everything up in those little locks, I guess. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make our way to the third and last Target, which is by where I live at, Throg's Neck in the Bronx. If you guys know, then you know. If you don't, then I'll take you there soon.
All right, guys, so we just made it to the last target for today, and this is it right here. So this is the target that's closest to where I live, which is in Throg's Neck. Um, so yeah, basically we're gonna walk in here. I'm gonna see what they got. Hopefully they got something good. And if they don't, then it is what it is. All right, guys, so this is what we have at this target. Um, we got a, we got some we got some good stuff here, man. I mean, I guess we got a couple of these boxes. It looks like it's fully loaded. But um, other than those boxes, that's that's looking like that's all they got here. Um, we got some of these two packs, and that's that's pretty much it. Let's check what they got in the back. All right, guys. So we're in the back by the collectibles, and um, this is pretty much all they have here. Pops, as always. But I'm not much of a pop collector. But that's pretty much it, man. Um, no cards back here. They only had those collectible boxes in the front. So let's go back to the shop and let's open up some packs. All right, guys. So now we're back at the shop. And like I said, we're going to be opening some packs. Unfortunately, this is all I picked up today because I have a few ETBs coming in the mail. So I didn't really need to grab anything. Uh, but I did decide to grab this. And basically, I wanted to show you guys what it's like to Pokemon hunt in the Bronx and sometimes it's a hit or miss either you're gonna find a lot of stuff or you're not gonna find anything at all let's just get straight into it and let's open up some crown zenith and in my opinion this set is way better than uh scarlet and violet so yeah you got a nice little pin in this which I really like so let's just grab this and let's see what we got in here we got the promo I wish they would sleeve the promos. Um, yeah, let's just put that to the side. If they sleeve the promos, I think it would have been so much better, but let's just get straight into it. We got three packs of Crown Xena. It ain't nothing much, but like I said, pools are always ter ter terrible. The pools are always terrible. One, two, three, four. And uh, let's see, we got the Water Energy, Pokemon Catcher, uh, Salazzle, Dusclops, Starly, Switch. We have Execute. We have this guy with the heart, Emolga, a Pancham, and a Scizor. Nothing. Like I said, man, Pokemon pools can be harsh. They can be terrible. But three packs. We only got three packs. There's your code card. One, two, three, four. We're going to go through this pretty fast. We got the Leaf Energy. We got the Rescue Carrier. We got the Bisharp. We got the Graveler. We got the Energy Search. Scyther. We have Riolu. Yangus. Oh, okay. We got this. The Thievul. And oh, hey, double hitter pack. Let's go. Reggie Gigas V Star. We got the double hitter pack. Hey, listen. Listen, that, that's good for me. That's good for me, you know. I know Scarlet and Violet wasn't giving me these type of hits. It was not giving me these type of hits. One, two, oh, this is for you guys. One, two, three, four. So we got the dark energy here. Rescue carrier. Friends. Grubbin. Let's go, Helioptile, Wulu. Hey, yo, that's why, that's why I like Crown Zenith. Cause look, three packs, three packs, and we got what? Three good cards so far. Let's see what we got behind this. Woo, with the Hollow. Okay, but look at that. Full Hollow Hatchering V Max. Let's go. So look, three packs, three packs, and we got three good hits. And uh, we had, what, how many packs of uh, Scarlet and Violet? We had, like, what, eight packs? We had, like, eight packs. Oh, no, it was six. I think it was six. It was either six or eight. I think it was six. But six packs. We only got one good hit. And we opened up some Crown Zenith. And we got, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Out of three packs. Let's go. That's three good hits. Even though we got two good hits at a one pack. It is what it is, man. This is what I like to see. This is how Pokemon cards should be every pack opening. 
every pack opening, you should be getting something like this. And that's why I like Crown Zenith way more than I like uh, Scarlet and Violet. Even though Scarlet and Violet has the new look to it. I mean, it is what it is. But this is what the pull rates should look like. Out of three packs, you should be getting, you know, good cards like this. You know, that, that's my opinion. Maybe, maybe I'm asking for too much. But that's, I feel like, you know, you got to make it worth it, you know? You see how I was excited? I wasn't really, you know, hoping to get anything crazy because usually I don't get anything at all. But I was excited because I finally got something good. But I'm going to wrap this video up. If you guys like these types of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the post notifications to get updates on my future content. And if you guys like these types of videos where I go around and I show you the Bronx a little bit and I take you on a journey of trying to find Pokemon cards and other TCG cards that I would uh, put into my sealed collection. Um, if you guys like these types of videos, I'll definitely make more. But stay tuned for my future content. Thank you guys for stopping by. It's your boy KBDX Tokyo.